Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Old Time Rock and Roll. I'm your host, David Tare, where all year I've been uh, running a new feature on this uh, on this group. Uh, it's um, uh, my personal top 3,000 countdown of what I roughly consider the top 3,000 rock and roll songs of all time from 1954 to 1999. Today I'm up to um, song number 2980, which is Passion by Rod Stewart. Um, here's a picture of the uh, of the single, and it came off of his album uh, Foolish Behavior, which looks exactly the same same picture of him. Anyway, uh, I think it's a really good song. But before I go into the song, I want to talk a little bit about Rod Stewart. He's had a very long history, a long and successful history as a musician. He started in 1963 with this group here called. Uh, Jimmy uh, Powell and the Five Dimensions. I guess they weren't a big group. Uh, he, I think he, he just sang and played harmonica. Um, that's how he started. He started as a harmonica player. There's actually, uh, a lot of people think that he played harmonica on the song My Boy Lollipop with Millie Small. That's false. He didn't play it. That's just a rumor. But uh, anyway, uh, um, so he started with the Dimensions. Then in 64, he joined... Uh, um, long jaw, jaw buddy and the all stars here they're shown here and then in 67 he joined the jeff beck group um shown here i believe and then in 69 he joined a group called faces the originally small faces they actually had a hit on their own before rod stewart joined them it was called ichiku park i think that came out in 68 but here he is with them in the middle and finally he went solo um uh Actually, with, with Faces, he had a big hit uh, called Stay With Me. Um, I think that came out in 71. Shortly after that, he went solo, and he had a pretty amazing solo career uh, starting in the 70s. He started with three huge uh, number one songs. His first was called Maggie May. Um, I heard it's based on a true story of his first relationship. Uh, I don't think her name was Maggie, but uh, it's a good, it's a great song, uh, and uh, he had several other big ones. He had You Wear It Well. He had uh, uh, his other two number ones were um, Tonight's the Night, Gonna Be All Right, which came out in 76, and Do You Think I'm Sexy, which came out in 79. And shortly after that, he came up with the song I'm featuring today, which is Passion. I guess I'll go back to that one. Um, yeah, here it is. So I want to talk a little bit about the song Passion. This one came out in 1980. And I don't think he had any more number ones after the 70s. Uh, so he's already kind of going downhill a little bit. But but I think Passion was a really great song. Uh, uh, it's not one you hear a lot. But it's a very powerful, emotional song. I mean, you know, he keeps talking about passion. He repeats that word a lot in the song. And I guess there's not a lot of tune to this song. But but I think it's a very powerful song. I mean, you know, what he says about passion is pretty amazing. I mean, he talks about, you know, how people kill and die for passion and just how people are consumed with passion. They're wandering off the street at midnight, you know, going to these bars and looking for looking for someone. And I know the feeling because I've gone through this myself. So I think it's a very powerful song. Uh, uh, there's a funny line that he says, even the president needs passion. And uh, uh, the song came out in 1980, so I guess that was President Carter at the time. I don't think it mattered which president it was. Uh, I think some have probably needed it more than others. I heard that President Nixon, uh, at least according to his wife, Patty, didn't have sex with him for, for I think, uh, since 1960s. So he was in desperate need of passion. And I'm sure other presidents have been... Uh, I don't want to go into that too much, but but anyway, that's that's the song I'm featuring for today. That's song to number 2980 on my list, Passion by Rod Stewart. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.